Hello everybody, today I have this 2010 Ferrari Cascadia with a D15 engine. Uh, the owner of this truck told me that meanwhile he was driving, he was uh, having some kind of uh, misfiring problems. Like the engine was misfiring and it was throwing explosions on the exhaust area, the exhaust, the tailpipe area. He heard that meanwhile he was running and uh, there was not uh, a specific cut. The engine was, I mean, running fine, but it was misfiring, uh, like shutting down for a bit, like almost shutting down and then coming back to life. He said that this truck was having these kind of problems. So I hooked the uh, system to the computer to check what is the problem. Usually when you hear then there is a misfiring going on with the truck, you expect to see uh, like injector malfunction or wiring, you know, something related to the injectors. But in this case, uh, I'm gonna tell you something different because that is going to be the problem that this truck had. So if we look at the cuts, we have different cuts over here, engine cuts and uh, computer, cabin computer, the CPC, this one right here. So we have this code over here, then it's related to the uh, emissions, but that is not going to cause uh, explosions in the exhaust area. That is only for uh, region problems. So it's gonna tell you that there is a region. So we have many different codes over here about uh, other things. See, farm requests missing for some reason is telling us that the miss is missing probably uh, the uh, AC pressure switch is not working by anyway. Um, it, we have this code over here. We have one code, this one, the ECN, no complete main power, printer flow fit. And uh, we check the date, and this one is older, you see. So that means that this one is not happening lately uh, because we are right here. Let's see what's the day today. It is a 19th. So we have to check a code and it is within the date. And we have this one and you see it is A11 right here. So that means that it happened lately. So you see it has this thing it says the battery possibility error or Cascadia main battery switch off while key on. Which means then the key was on over here but the power wasn't getting delivered directly to the computer and this can cause explosions and stuff like that because the um, the battery gets shut down i mean the computer gets shut down because there is no power for a moment and then comes back to life and obviously it's gonna throw some kind of explosions so what to check when you have a problem like this because usually you think that it's going to be a misfiring from the engine, but in this case, that is the problem. So what do you have to check when you have a problem like this? It's pretty simple. All you have to do is to come to the battery compartment right here. Open it. And uh, check your batteries. As I was inspecting, I noticed that this is loose. See, this one is completely loose. See? This one is completely loose. The other ones are tied right here. But then we have this other one right here. I think it's completely loose too, see? So this is the cause why this, uh, uh, this truck is throwing these cuts because the batteries are loose, that's all. We just need to retie the batteries and uh, that will solve the problem. Probably too, it, it, it can be possible that one of these batteries is weak too, because, uh, or one of these batteries is getting drained, it's not getting enough charge, and that's the reason why it's happening, because, um, yeah, let's see, we have two, two, well, we have separate, so uh, it could be something like that. So also you can check this one right here, the fuses. In this case, this is an older Cascadia, but for a new one, you have the uh, PDMB, something like that, and goes in the front. It's completely different than the old ones. But anyway, so I, I can clearly see what is the problem with this truck. So I just wanted to show you that 
because uh, it is a completely different problem on this one than can cause pro or can, can can cause explosion and uh, you can you can get confused and the injectors are bad then probably the air filter is bad and the fuel pump is bad but you have to check for this hot freeze before replacing anything it is just based on experience and uh, that way you can save a lot of money and your customer can be happy or you owner of the truck you can save a lot of money as well so uh, I guess this is all I have to show you it was just a short video about this uh, problem right now uh, uh, besides all that I guess this is all I have to show you and um, uh, if, I, if there is any, anything else to add, probably I'm gonna do a different video telling you about it. Uh, so, so far, this is all. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button so that way I can feel confident that I'm doing the best for you. And any viewer that is watching this video, you wanna help me to create more content and it's helpful, you can check my description on the description of this video where I have details how to send support to my channel so I can make. Uh, helpful videos for everybody uh, make sure to share it with anybody then it's interesting to uh, know more stuff about trucks uh, subscribe to the channel is very important and follow me on Instagram if you want if you want to see different content that I'm doing as well thank you